Okay, so when I left you in part one, I had not done the placket, so I'm just gonna show you. I've done a placket using the rectangle shape tool. I've done some buttons, and I've added some stitching at the placket, which is fairly easy to do using the pen tool. Um, and um, using the ellipse tool on the shape section to do the buttons. Okay, so now we're going to do the back panel. It's fairly easy to do. This video was much shorter than the first one. What you'll find as soon as you've done the front drawing or something, it's really easy to translate it or transform it into the back view. Never start doing the back view from scratch. You want it to be exactly the same outline or shape or fit as the front, unless it's um, you know more of a bespoke or more of a um, couture garment where there's you know a lot more going on. But for a basic shape like this, I would use the front drawing. So hopefully you have selected everything. So you would select everything and you would group it by doing Command G or right clicking and selecting group, which would be here if you had done. So for instance, if I ungroup it, you'll see that all these sections now are on their own. But when I get my black arrow tool and select over the whole shape, let me do that again just to make sure, select over the whole shape and I right click group. When I try to select individual parts, it wasn't, won't allow me to do that, but it's really good because it helps me to move or um, position this shape anywhere on the page without leaving bits behind, like leaving a button behind or leaving the rib behind in um, a different position. So what I'm going to do is I need to copy this shape. Some people will just get the black arrow tool, Command C, Command V. But quicker, another quicker way is to actually select your um, shape, hold the Alt key. As soon as I press the Alt key, you'll see on the screen. Let me go a bit closer actually, so you can see. You'll see when I press the Alt key that there's a two-way arrow. So there's a black arrow and a white arrow. Um, if you click and drag, I'm gonna move it over to the other page, you'll see that I would have duplicated that shape. So now I've got two fronts, um, which I don't want. So I'm gonna use this um, side to do the back view. So if I double click on this, what you'll see, if you look here, you can see both images look like they are um, the opacity or the, um, that they're both at full capacity um, or full opacity should I say. When I double click on it though you'll see that this becomes faded out and this stays the same. Now what that means is I'm only going to be able to edit within this section because this is the section that I've isolated by double clicking on and you'll see on your layers that it says isolation mode. Now to really get out of that it's really easy you just click anywhere off the screen and you'll get that image back into the right opacity. So let's just go back, double click on the garment, the um, on the right hand side of the screen. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go along and delete some of the sections that we don't need. So we know for instance, that the front collar is not gonna be visible on the back. So we're gonna use the black arrow tool, select it, press delete. Again, we need to delete the placket because we know that also is not going to be visible on the back. So if we click with the black arrow tool, if we hold the shift key and keep it held down as we click on the buttons, you can see it selects those two. And again, if we select the stitching, it will, oh, it will select the stitching as well. So that's literally by holding the shift key whilst clicking on different objects, multi-selects them at the same time. So now if I press delete, I'll be able to get rid of all of that. Now we need to actually fix this part. So if we get our black arrow tool to select the body itself. Now if we go a bit closer, I want to show you another function on the pen tool. So at the moment we can see all our points here. If we go to the pen tool and select the minus, and click on the point we want to delete because obviously we don't need the shape anymore. So let me go a bit closer so you can see. I've got my pen tool with the minus beside it. If I hover on top of the point that I want to delete, go exactly on that and press, click on it. Oh, let's do that again. 
click on there, we'll see that it deletes that point. And so now we can get our um, white arrow tool and we can actually move our anchor arms and move that shape up actually and give ourselves a nice little back neckline. So we know the back neckline is not as curved as the front, so that's perfect. We're going to get our black arrow tool now. We need to bring this collar to the front because obviously when the collar is worn down we can't see the back neck. So we've selected it with the black arrow tool, we've done right click, arrange, bring to the front. So we've got a really nice line showing off the neck. And then we've only got a few things to do then we're complete. We need to then go to our armhole and if you know anything about construction, our back armhole is always less curved than the front. Not so much on a jersey, so we're just going to change this ever so slightly, not much, because on jersey fabrics it tends not to be so apparent. And I'm going to do exactly the same to this side, black arrow tool, sorry, white arrow tool, click on the line, and we're going to move the anchor arms slightly. So move that back, oh, move that. Again. Okay, last but not least, we're going to go to the hem because when we just make sure that we have that as a full shape, and that's perfect. So we've finished off, we've now got our front and our back to our polo shirt done really in quick, easy steps. We can now go to our polo shirt and we can colour this according to whatever we would like to colour it. So I could make it um, blue. And you can see I can click on here as well and select all the parts by using the black arrow tool, holding the shift and clicking on all the parts that I want to change the colour to. Getting the eyedropper tool just like what we did with the stitching clicking on the blue so that I get exactly the same blue. And now I've got two lovely finished flat drawings with um, a rib and some buttons. And again, I can go and color the rib exactly the same way. So that's the end of the session. I hope you've enjoyed and followed through. If not, um, just simply watch over again and I'm sure you'll pick it up. Thank you.